We're getting right into this Grasshopper versus Ring Central review. And what you can see on the screen here is the Grasshopper pricing. Now, if we take a look at Ring Central, it looks kind of similar. Of course, you can you know up the number of users here, and you can see that the Essentials plan drops off because that's only for up to 20 users. Uh, and the way that Ring Central does it is it's per user per month, right? So if you have three people that are working in your business and they all need access to the phone and they're all gonna be receiving calls, that's gonna cost you roughly about $90 per month. But the other thing to be aware of with Ring Central is that there is a cap on the number of minutes. So as you can see here in the Essentials plan, that's only 100 minutes that it comes with, and then you're gonna be charged 3.9 cents per minute after 100. And you can see the same is true for 1,000, 2,500, 10,000 with the other plans. Now, if you go to Grasshopper, it is unlimited minutes, unlimited text, uh, but it is a different type of service. So Grasshopper is for a smaller business, um, you know, one to 10 employees. Maybe you have two or three different departments that might answer the phone. And what you're gonna be doing is forwarding that call to that person that's gonna be answering the call. So if you have like sales or customer support or just, uh, you know, general questions, those are all gonna be forwarded to a different area. So you can see in the $26 a month plan, you get that one phone number and three extensions. That'll be able to handle all your needs if you're only need three extensions. If you need more extensions, you can certainly uh, up it into the partner uh, status. Now, where it becomes a question of which service to go with, I think 80, 90% of most businesses are better suited for Grasshopper just because most businesses are one to 10 employees. So one of the things too I'll mention right now is in the description of this video are links to both services. I'm gonna work on getting the best possible promotion for you. So if you use my link, it is an affiliate link which helps support my channel. But what I'm gonna do here in a minute is earn that click by explaining to you something that you should be aware of if you are looking at possibly changing changing your phone number or setting up your phone number for the first time. So either service you go with, you know, you're gonna be able to pick a phone number and be able to decide what works for you. But if you have like a call center or you're running a pretty robust sales team and you're integrated with Salesforce, uh, one of the nice things with Ring Central is it has all these integrations that you can add. And you can see this one right here for Salesforce. So it makes it really easy to just kind of integrate Salesforce in with your phone system. And I know a lot of people, a lot of businesses are using Salesforce. So with Ring Central, it really becomes a question of if the juice is worth the squeeze. Let's say that you have five employees that need to use the phone. Uh, that means that this $19.99 there is actually gonna be $100 per month. And then between those five employees, you're only gonna have 100 minutes and then be getting charged 3.9 cents per minute after that. So let's say on average that you're using about 1,000 minutes per month. What that's gonna do to that $100 price point is it's gonna push it up to 135. Now, if you're on Grasshopper and you have five users, what you could do is get into the partner plan and then just give each one of them their own extension and then you're gonna be looking at $44 per month and there's no extra fees as far as how many minutes you use. Now, one of the really cool features with either of these services is the fact that you can start to use your business phone as a texting service. This is really key because most people prefer to text over call. And one of the really nice things with Grasshopper is they have what's called instant response, which automatically sends a text to new callers when you can't answer the call. So the way this works is let's say you have like a salesperson, they have their own extension, they call that person, they can't answer because they're in a meeting, they're in the bathroom, uh, you know, they're driving, whatever it may be. What they can do is ignore the call and it'll still ring an appropriate amount of times, but that person that's calling is gonna get a text message that you can create an automated response for. And why this is so important is something called the golden window. If you're not familiar, the golden window is the first five minutes after somebody reaches out to your business. And it's so crucial for closing the business, for getting them on the call. And that five minutes, if you can get in touch with that person, it could even be just texting them to let them know, hey, when's a good time for me to follow back up with you? I'm just in the middle of something, I'll give you a call. What it does is it starts the dialogue and the communication for the person trying to reach out to your business to do business with you. And that's so crucial for increasing your close ratio on incoming calls. So if you're a smaller business, one to 10 employees, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be way more cost effective and appropriate for you to be using Grasshopper over Ring Central. Now, let's say that your business is growing and you have a call center or you have a pretty robust sales team. In that case, Ring Central is probably the right way to go. Now, if we look at the premium plan, I just wanna highlight a few things. One of them is automatic call recording. On Grasshopper, there are no call recording services. So if you're worried about quality assurance and being able to you know, listen to the calls after the fact, you're not gonna be able to do that with Grasshopper. If you have a call center, that is really key. You're gonna to wanna to see metrics and reports so that you know like the average time it takes them to pick pick up the phone, how long their calls are taking on average, uh, what do those calls sound like? You know, if somebody gives a bad review to you and they say that, you know, hate their customer service, you can go back with Ring Central and listen to that specific call and see what happened. With Grasshopper, you're not gonna have those services or functionalities. Now, the other thing that's really important here that I wanna mention is the popular CRM integrations with Salesforce, Zendesk, and more. So what you can do with Ring Central
Central is they essentially have apps that can integrate with your service. And this is great because they've already done a lot of coding and work for you. So if you're somebody who uses Salesforce or Slack or any one of these apps here, you can integrate it right into the Ring Central service. So why don't we take a look at Zendesk, for example? Uh, one of the things you can see here is that you can simply click to dial, eliminating misdials and improving call efficiency. So what that means is like if you use Zendesk for your support tickets and somebody had an issue and they want you to call, you can actually click that phone number they provided in the contact form on your website and immediately just be able to dial that person. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but if you have a call center and you're stopping people from hitting all these numbers all day long and getting missed dials or just taking a long time to use the phone, that's really gonna add up to have a more efficient business. Just know that either way you go, you do have a free trial to get started. Now, one of the things I wanna make you aware of is let's say that you know I'm in Buffalo, New York, and I'm gonna search uh, HVAC Buffalo, New York. So this is really interesting, right? So Google has changed a lot over the years and no matter what your business model is, Google's important because people might be just searching your brand to call you or they might be searching kind of generic terms like this, say like HVAC in Buffalo, New York. And what you can do on Google is a pretty cool feature. You can click on tools and you can go to anytime and then I can do a custom range. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in time, right? So what I have highlighted here is about five years ago, November, 2015, if I click go, Watch how these uh, these listings here change quite a bit, right? It seems a lot more vanilla, less things going on here, right? And that's because Google has changed a lot over time. Now, if I click back here, what you'll see now is that this map, this Google local listing really dominates a lot of the search results online now. And it's so important that your business is gonna show up here. And one of the things you have to be aware of is that one of the main ways that your business can show up is that you have citations across the web, meaning like you have a Yelp page, a Facebook page, a Twitter page, a Monta page, a Foursquare page, etc but the name address and most important because of what we're talking about in this video is phone must be consistent across of all those citations so what google will do is they'll want to make sure that your phone number that's listed on your google my business page which you can get to by going to google.com forward slash business is the same as it is on all those other citations so if you've already had a business phone number it can kind of seem like well how am i going to get all this stuff cleaned up so that i can rank in here well a service that does this for you and i am not associated with them in any way i just really like the service it's really easy to use is uh, bright local so what you can do is go over here to their citation builder and what they're going to do is they are going to go out and they're going to clean up dodgy data and nip nap issues in the bud right but they're also going to build citations for you on a bunch of different uh, platforms so if we scroll down a little bit here you can kind of see some of these platforms like i was mentioning yelp you know yellow pages local etc so for about $200, it'll probably cost you total. It's about $2 per citation. They will go through and clean up your name, address, and phone number on all these different listings, but also create new citations for you. And again, that's so important because what it's gonna help you do is it's gonna help your business rank and show up in this area here so that you can get the phone ringing a little bit more and people wanting to reach out and do business with your business. As I mentioned earlier, I appreciate you guys using my link in the description below. And in the next video right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through Grasshopper tutorial as far as getting set up, what it looks like when you get set up with your free trial. So you can check out that video as well. And thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to catch you right in this next video and show you exactly how the service works.